Hello everyone and welcome to a quick little bonus Saturday video. Yesterday, on the DCS 2025 and beyond video dropped. I was pretty busy yesterday so I didn't have a chance to watch it then, but I watched it here just this morning. And uh, it's, you know, it's filled with the usual cool cinematics, teasers of the new uh, F4U, I think there's a Wildcat coming, the Mirage, not Mirage, the Eurofighter 2000, um, and other things. but. At the end of that, and it's, you know, filled with the normal good cinematics. Please go check it out if you haven't. We're not going to be watching the full video because I don't want to get copyright claimed. But at the end, they play this bit here. And that's what we're going to watch and talk about briefly today. New development. A full fidelity F 15C, which is cool. That's cool. I like that. The one thing that does, um, I don't want to say worry me, um, but this is now the second Flaming Cliffs aircraft we've seen move into full fidelity. And again, that's not a bad thing. Not at all. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm glad that they're doing that. Um, I just think that the player base maybe, and I mean, I'm part of the player base, so at least a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the player base, myself, and I would imagine a few other folks, would like to see other um, full fidelity models get pushed to the forefront. Stuff like the Eurofighter, stuff like the World War II stuff, you know, the Zero, the F4U, the Wildcat, I think there's even a Bearcat coming. Um, see that stuff get pushed to the front of the queue. Um, I have no problem. I, I'm excited for the F-15C full fidelity, and I'm probably going to buy it, right? Exactly. So, um, this is just a little tidbit there. But the real part I want to talk about is this here. And one more thing. Now, I want you guys to see how quickly you can snipe this aircraft. I'll tell you where I figured out what it was. A lot of smoke transitions. Any guesses yet? Right here. That's where I got it. That's where I figured out what it was. Can you tell what aircraft this is from this screenshot? And I apologize for the YouTube compression. Nothing I can do about it. I figured it out from this thing here. And then I start, I said, oh, is that this airplane? And then I started looking at the other clips after. And I was like, yep, sure is. So... Three more seconds. Do you know what aircraft this is from this frame? Did you already know what it is? Will you figure it out in some of the next ones we're gonna play in real time now? The F-35, now I believe this to be an alpha model. Um, it doesn't have the big um, hump that the Bravo model would have, and it's got the single nose wheel, um, so it's not a Charlie model either. This is an interesting um, development for me, and the reason being is I've, I've prepared some documentation here for us to read. So, the F-15C which is the aircraft that we've seen in Flying Cliffs and the aircraft that's currently in full fidelity um, development. First entered production in 1978. Okay, so quite a while ago. Um, no surprise there. The F-15C is been around forever. Still a uh, perfect flight record because we keep it in the United States for the most part. I think it's like 104 or no, something like that. The F-16C Block 52, which is what we have in DCS, first delivered in 1991. Again, good while ago. The F-18, uh, so we have the Block 20 in DCS. It's a little bit harder to nail down the exact date, and I thought I had it highlighted here, and I apologize. Um, essentially, it boils down to... 2019 was the retirement date, first flight was 1978 that would have been the f-18a um so we'll look at so here's the f-18c and let's say that the last year it was produced 
was 2000, right? So you got three years, 97 to 2000. So we'll just pick somewhere in the middle of there, right? Um, say 98, 99 is where the block 20 came around. Um, cause shortly after that in 97 is when they first started flight testing the, uh, F 18 F or E and F rather. And then they began low rate production in 97 and then full production in 97. I did not know that the super Hornet has been around since the nineties, to be honest with you. But anyway, so we have a lot of these aircraft from what gen alpha or gen Z would call the late 1900s, which is the funniest thing in the world to me. It makes me feel like dirt. Cause I am, um, the F 35, the first F 35, Flew in 06 and then entered service with a Bravo model in July 2015 and then the A model in 2016. That's 10 years ago or just under 10 years if you're looking at the A model. There is so much export control and so much classified data around the F-16C that people were getting thrown in jail for leaking that information onto War Thunder forums. And I think there was someone actually in development on the F-16 Block 52 that we have, I'm sorry, Block 50 in the DCS world that are in jail or went to jail. I don't know if they're still there. How is Eagle Dynamics getting their hands on the most cutting edge fighter that the United States has? My, my only thought is this is not going to be a U.S. model. It's going to be an export model, um, like one of the ones that goes to like the U.K. or the Netherlands um, or something like that. But if it's not one of those export, and even if it is one of the export models, the, there's no way that this is going to be an accurate representation of the actual F-35. If you take an F-35 pilot and you sit them down in whatever this release is going to be, he's going to have tons of things that are missing. If you guys watch C.W. Lemoyne, um, he was previously a, I believe in, I think he flew a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the F-16, nope, I'm confusing him with Moore. It doesn't matter. A lot of different uh, fighter pilots that I watch on YouTube, but um, he did a video where he compared the DCS aircraft offering to what he actually flew in his time in the military. And he said, yeah, there's a couple things missing here and there, but it's pretty good. Again, that is an aircraft from somewhere between 97 and 2000 for the C model F-18. And I think it was a similar thing for the F-16, um, which is not CW, CW Lemoyne. I believe that was Mover who flies um, F-16s and F-35s. Maybe he'll actually do a video on whatever the F-35 comes out to be, whatever, whenever it uh, comes to life. But I think we're going to be missing some serious, serious implementation and capabilities of this aircraft. Those are just my negative thoughts for Saturday morning. I will uh, let the rest of this video play out and uh, see you guys in the next one. As always, take it easy.